So, hi everyone. My name is Johnny. I'm the co-founder and CEO of, of Mentimeter. And I'm going to talk about the data-driven culture and how measuring equality gets it done. Sexism has a well-established role in the startup and tech industry today. Before I move on, I'm a bit interested in who is sitting in the audience. So if you grab your phones or your computers, and you go to this address, govote.at, I want to interact with you a bit. So grab your phones, computers. If the internet god is with us, we have connections as well. Go to govote.at, and the unique code for my speech right now is 885. One five. Go vote. At eight eight five one five. And this is hundred percent anonymous. Very important to know as well. Interesting. 25, you should probably be about 50 at least. It's a good and equal crowd, like that. OK, I'm also a bit interested in what you do. So if you go to the next question and answer what you do today. And the last thing I want to know about you, and since this is anonymous, I'm also going to, and I'm also going to hide the result of the next question. And the question is, have you ever felt excluded in a work situation based on your gender? Thanks. My insight into that this industry, the tech and startup industry, has a real problem with sexism. It didn't come from me reading articles in TechCrunch about GitHub or Tinder screwing up. It was from me times and times and times again hearing close friends of mine, colleagues, and even idols talk about that they didn't feel included and welcome in the same situations, in the same groups, in the same forums, as I felt as 100% natural. And in this, I try to let the minority opinion prevail. If they feel excluded, or if they, doesn't feel, if they don't feel welcome, their opinion trumps mine. Because I could never know, you see in front of you a uh, 30-plus male, white, uh, I'm the privileged minority, ma majority. At Mentimeter, my company, we try to create a two-way interaction in one of the last situations that is very one-sided transmitting. And this is conferences, such as this one, and meetings. Simply put, you can say that we turn opinions into tangible data in real time, just as you saw. And when we got investment into Mentimeter, and knowing that we were four male founders white from Sweden, I set out to build Mentimeter into a diverse and equal company in both numbers and in culture. Uh, and in this, I found a perfect partner. It was gender equality consultant at Gender. And I met one of their consultants at a conference. Her name is Alice, and she talk, uh, spoke about the importance of measure equality. Because you know what's said, 
what gets measured gets done. And this struck so well with me. Being an engineer and having to prove Mentimeter to investors by showing them Excel sheet after Excel sheet, uh, measuring uh, the development of Mentimeter in, in Mixpanel and in Google Analytics uh, to decide what to do and develop at Mentimeter. This was so right for me. And she spoke about measuring the number of female and male in leadership teams, in the board, uh, measuring wage gaps. So you get numbers, and then the numbers can be improved. And although I love this concept, uh, it doesn't grasp the wholeness of equality. And a challenge for a startup as Mentimeter, we are seven employees. So there's no real management team to be equal. And we actually all have the same wage. So we cannot done. But we asked ourselves, me and Alice, if there's a way to measure the culture and measure if we have an equal culture. And we figured out that culture is nothing else but opinions and attitudes. And with the right set of questions, you can actually measure those opinions and attitudes. And when you have data on that, you can measure and continuously improve the result. So together, we created this set of questions um, and we have, for a couple of months now, ourselves and a couple of friends' company in Sweden that thinks this issue is very, very important, uh, try this out. And it, it's a dead simple way of converting a group's opinions and attitude around gender equality into tangible data and then measure it over time. Uh, and how it works? It's just that you gather your team as a leader, you get people to reflect on questions for themselves. The, resu the result is shown anonymously for the entire group. Then you have a discussion and initiate any action that you need to do. And then you iterate this every or bi-weekly. And today, this internal tool that we have been using for a couple of months now, we are releasing that under what we call EQ Meter. And it's for startups. And as long as you use our tool to measure your quality and culture, we're going to offer this for startups for free. And just to show you how dead simple this is, I'm actually going to let you vote on the EQ meter questions. So if you hit the next question on your phone or computer, whatever you used. And to make this relevant, think of your work today. How is your situation at work today? Think of that when you vote on the following. short reasoning behind why a gender chose these four questions might be self-explanatory, but if not everyone can influence the company's success, you are missing out on great potential. If not everyone is getting credit for their professional ideas and, and contribution, they will of course stop contributing finally. If you, everyone doesn't feel that they have the same opportunity to, to represent the company, you don't show if you actually have diversity in your company. And the last one, which 
might be difficult because we all know it takes a lot of effort to start and build a successful company. But we also know that society today, one part of uh, uh, our society takes more responsibility for the domestic work. And if the work life will truly be equal, we need to schedule decision setting meetings at times when everybody can contribute. And again, this is data. So when you have data, and this is actually, uh, you have voted on Mentimeter's internal questionnaire, so we actually have historical data on how we have developed uh, the last couple of weeks. So for example, if we look at if we are able to represent our company internally and externally, we had a dip. And this dip in data, we had a discussion round. And of course, it showed that for X amount of events in a row, we had too many males representing us. So we took action, and you see the result of that action. So I believe that we can change this. And we can change this by knowledge of numbers and the attitude of leader. And you must understand that you don't have to be part of the minority to drive these issues. You only have to realize that other people experience situations in another way than you. And I'm going back to the questionnaires again. And this. So out of 70 people who engaged, 30 have felt excluded in work situation only based on their gender. So, I made up my mind six months ago, and today we are an equal company. We have a 50-50 balance by female and male, and we have even have more female in development roles. And it's not hard at all. And today we're releasing EQ Meter. And if we can somehow contribute to that our community becomes a more welcoming uh, community for everyone, it will be an extreme humble pleasure for everyone at Mentimeter. Uh, and this is our way of contributing. Thank you very much.